the degrading growth. And these walls have been in here for quite a few years. What you're actually looking at is the felt starting to break down. So it's only been a couple of years and it's already falling apart. What you also don't see is the amount of algae buildup. Okay, you can clearly see it on my fingers here. Okay, not to mention, I took a water sample of this particular irrigation cycle and it's at about 600 parts per million. That means there's an awful lot of fertilizer being dumped right into the waterway, which is right behind us. So let's go for a walk and look how close the water is. So all of this water that's being drained from these living walls is being dumped right into this waterway. Okay, it seems like there's problems with all of them. And frankly, it's a design flaw. You can see the, the felt actually pulling away from the paper. There's no way for plants to grab onto anything to grow if the product itself is literally falling apart. So you have all these people enjoying this beautiful walkway and patio. Unbeknownst to them, you have this chemically infused water literally being dumped right below them. Let's see, there's some more here from what's up top. But look at the algae growth on that felt. Okay, it's just a really poorly designed system. I've documented this project many years ago, and sadly, with the same results, nothing has gotten better. I've preached it time and time again. but it seems the industry is in denial and no one wants to listen. Let's go take a look at yet some more. So there's a consistency here. Okay, you can see the, the algae and the mold buildup. Okay, you can see the wastewater being dumped, literally. So when I talk about these hydroponic felt type systems being a danger to society and the environment. Not only is this water infused with synthetic chemicals, but the water is also exposed to the population, our waterways, our fisheries, and our groundwater that we drink. Yet another area you can see the water literally just falling off these felt systems, causing more problems than good. Now we can get up real close. Hopefully the sun's not in your eyes. Okay, as we go up underneath, okay, we're looking at you know felt pockets where they're supposed to be plants, but instead you got algae buildup and you got mold, okay, which becomes a hazard. Okay, is this something you really want in your office? Okay, let's look up underneath. Look at this water coming out. I shouldn't even be touching this water. Okay, it's chemically infused with synthetic fertilizers that can be absorbed through my skin. Okay, let's take a look underneath. Okay, and you can clearly see, you know, the felt attached to basically these plastic uh, um, cylinders. Okay, and this goes all the way up. So this isn't just a one-time display of poor environmental stewardship. It's also a poor display of system application and system performance. Wow. And again, there's the beautiful bay. They actually had to cone off this area because of all the water that's dripping. So 